Hey guys, Craig Atkins here, and welcome to another Week in Outdoors. Today we're on the lake trolling for stock rainbow trout, and we're using the best lure I know for trolling at any depth, any water temperature, any time of the year. You'll want to take a look at this. There's a fish. There's one right there. Okay, he's still on there. Yeah, he's still there. He's still going to take a little easy on this one. hit the last one. Yeah, got him on the pink one. I can see him down there. Oh, he's beautiful. That thing is beautiful. He's not big, but he is pretty. Is that not a pretty rainbow trout? Yeah, he's a good 14, 15 inches. That's a nice fish. Hey, many a times. And that's the beauty of inland trout fishing is very few people fish for them or know how to fish for them. And it's really pretty simple. It doesn't require a lot of expensive equipment. Uh, they just don't know how, so the fish don't get fished for much. And these are all put-and-take trout, so the state stocks them in here every year. They put 3,000 in this lake. There's one right there. There's a fish right there. Whoa. Man, he hammered that. He hammered that. Woo. Did you see that? Heck, that was worth a trip. Wow. Whoa. I got a little excited on that one. Reeled him way too fast. I should have not let him do that. But um, when you hit fish like that, you don't want to um, bring him up to the surface. I let him come up, and I shouldn't have done that until I had the net ready to go underneath him, just in case something like that happens. So you never pull the fish out of the water like I just did. That's a big no-no. Um, but anyway, that was kind of exciting. Woo! Wowee! It gives me a little bit of hope. And I brought, I'm using wiggle hoochies today. And all I have on here is this little dodger, which is actually a pike spoon that works really well. And um, as a dodger and I have a wiggle hoochie on here. This is a little hair fly, I guess, if you will, with a hook back behind it. And it has a little cup, plastic cup in front of it. it makes the hoochie wiggle back and forth. And you know, this time of year, well, actually just about any time you're trolling, if the fish are aggressive, um, you know, this is a, a, a great lure for them. Um, you know, it really gets their attention. The the spoon I have here in front, this is about a three and a half, four inch spoon. Um, that's an attractor. That brings the, gets the fish's attention. They come over and check it out. See the wiggle hoochie there? 
that is running about oh, 20 inches behind the spoon and boom they hit it and I do tip these with a piece of night crawler not a very big piece just because if you ha leave it hanging off they will just um, uh, pick the, the night crawler off the back so I only put about you know maybe an inch inch and a half piece of night crawler on the back of this wiggle hoochie so that's what it is this one's made by Fox River you can look them up on the internet and I've got a orange one on this side and that's what we got hit on and a pink one on that side and that was my that's what I was going to start with and then orange is always good for trout and um, you know we're gonna switch that other one out if, if it tends to be real popular this morning and the pink one doesn't get hit much um, we'll switch the other one out to orange and away we go so I just thread this night crawler on kind of like you would if you're bluegill fishing and just let about a half an inch of it uh, hang off the back of the hook and that's all there is to it man that was exciting he hit that thing like he was a steelhead on Lake Michigan kinda alright so I'm using a uh, four ounce torpedo weight and what I've got it on a slip rig here and if you're interested in torpedo weights and this this neat rig that I have going on here um, I have a video on how to use torpedo weights and how to rig this this um, all up everything you need to know about it so now I'm going to zero my line counting reel and I'm just going to feed that thing back about 60 feet or so It'll be about 20 yards all right there's 60 now I'm going to attach my downrigger release to my line oh I don't want to go that deep get it off okay and then I'm gonna hang that torpedo weight off the side of the boat right at the surface and then I'm gonna re-zero my line counter and then I'm gonna drop this torpedo weight down to whatever depth I want and that will act like a downrigger then okay there's 20 feet I think that's where we're gonna keep her Fishing. Dare him do that again. Heck yeah, that was fun. There's a fish. Oh, we got him. Put this one in the boat. We've lost a lot of fish today. This one's coming in the boat.
that's a good 14 15 incher that's a nice fish big fat one you know the my favorite colors of trout lures are pink and hot pink and hot orange those two colors have produced more trout for me than any other colors I've ever used and so when I do buy new baits like when I bought these wiggle hoochies I bought them in pink and orange I bought two of each that way if one day they prefer pink over orange or orange over pink I can switch both rods out and um, and really light into them so that's a good tip to, to remember um, you know that those two colors are very 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 good trout colors and it's always my go-to my start with colors every time I don't care if it's steelhead in Lake Michigan or rainbow trout um, in, a, in an inland lake or even trout in the stream you know those are the colors I always start with so anyway, and then I got here and then one of my cameras didn't work and that sucked. And then um, I put my motor on and rode over here and it took me, um, it took me 12 minutes. So I cut 13 minutes off my travel time. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, I got one. Hold on a minute. in the morning 90 degrees outside and I'm still catching trout that is awesome that's a nice rainbow 